Another option for drawing fractions is using grid paper if it's more difficult drawing freehand on a whiteboard or blank paper. So we're gonna use grid paper, you can use any side. We're gonna draw the fraction 7 eighths. So we're gonna start following the lines on the grid and we're gonna represent eighths. So we're going to count out eight lines to make our rectangle and then partition them into eight equal pieces or eight parts. And then our numerator is seven, so we're gonna shade in seven of the eight parts, or seven of the eighths. Using grid paper is a really good place to start with students to help them get comfortable with representing their fractions. Let's move on to an improper fraction or a fraction greater than one. We're drawing six fourths, so we know one whole is gonna have four fourths. So now we need to make another hole for another two fourths so that we have a total of six fourths. So there's eight fourths all together, but we only need to shade in six fourths. Next, we'll represent four and two thirds. So let's start with our whole. So each whole will be three thirds because our denominator in the fraction is thirds. So a whole is made up of three thirds. So we have four holes. Let's shade in all of those holes to represent that we're using the whole thing. So one hole shaded in, two holes shaded in, three holes shaded in, four holes shaded in. And then we need to draw a, a part that shows the two thirds. So we're gonna draw a fifth hole, partition it into thirds, and then shade only two of the thirds in. four and two thirds. 